We discovered the Ebola virus in 1976. It's a hemorrhagic fever. It is up to 90% lethal. That means nine out of 10 people infected will be dead in two or three weeks. We had no cure. There was nothing. Until in the last year, we discovered if we put together a couple of antibodies in a mixture we call a cocktail, it is not a cocktail, it is, you know, it's a mixture of antibodies, we can save the lives of all the research animals. So this is, we can now cure Ebola virus. So the question is, now that we know we can do this, which antibodies do we put together and why? Do we need antibodies against different sites? Do we need antibodies against different functions? And so all of the scientists in the Ebola field, and maybe there are 20, are now together in one collaboration and one team, and I direct that team. So this team is 20 men and one woman, and the woman's in charge. And we are going to, we are putting all of our antibodies together into one pool, and we're going to see what's best. Doesn't matter who came up with it. Doesn't matter if it's Japanese, Chinese, American, Canadian. What's best? Can we put them all on the one table and put them in one cocktail and now go and cure Ebola virus? And so this is why I say that science is a good career for women. Who has skills to work with other people well? Girls do. Who has skills to communicate with other people well? Girls do. Who is interested in helping people and saving lives? Girls are. Who can get 20 different competing labs all on the same page to go and cure Ebola virus? Girls can.